Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Doing a check-in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm going to tap into the energy that surrounds you at this time and see what messages Spirit has for you. Cross-watchers are also very welcome here. Just remember to flip and switch the energies. Do not force any messages. Only take what resonates or check out other placements. What is the energy surrounding the Aries Collective at this time? And what does Aries need to know? Flowers. I love flowers. And it's, fl it's uh, flower season where I'm at right now. And I'm dealing with some serious allergies. The number 11 might be significant to you. The number one. Um, new. I feel new journey. Be generous. Su success and emotional fulfill fulfillment are yours. Sorry, Aries. Um, so an energy of success, high vibration. I'm feeling a very gentle energy with this, a gentle energy of self-love and for the love of others. I'm feeling a very empress energy from this card, actually. So you may be on the Aries Taurus cusp, but certainly you are embodying that of the empress right now, the divine feminine. You are very attractive at this time. And this is not just for females. This is for males also, but someone that's embodying the energy of the empress seeds have grown you are nurturing you are satisfying your role you are loving you are giving you are kind and you are very beautiful very generous energy around you at this time please clarify the message five of swords yeah you're moving away from someone that's deceptive you're actually starting to show real signs of healing after dealing with someone that was very empty and broken so you did deal with someone in the past that was um very manipulative and deceptive someone that operates from the shadow side of themselves someone that's very broken but you have healed and released this person so this isn't current energy i know this is past because it's in the reverse five of swords that's aquarius energy and then we've got six of swords also validating that this is a past person that you have walked away from that you have released because you've moved towards calmer waters five to the six right so you are still on barking upon trusting your guides and your spirit angel and angels to lead you to that which is meant for you to your divine path you are moving away from a chaotic time from a chaotic connection towards more stability towards um towards a much gentler higher vibration at this time aries queen of swords energy in the reverse again dealing with someone that was manipulative still waiting to have some finality in a legal matter possibly you're still waiting to get divorced from this person that was deceptive this person that was emotionally and mentally manipulative you have moved away from this person you've taken your energy back you are grounded at this time you are being divided by your scott your star right? There's a lot of emotion in you. You are healing. You are moving forward, releasing anything that's deceptive. Possibly not in communication with someone. I feel you've blocked someone because they are still broken and have yet to take any accountability for the way that they treated you within this chaotic connection. Aries. Okay, but be generous. Success and emotion of fulfillment are yours. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please pull more energy for Aries for this situation, for this energy. What does Aries need to know about this past situation? Please clarify and give us some more information. Confidence is key to your success. Leo energy, be bold, be brave. Be fire. It's time to release negativity. Continue to heal with the Six of Swords energy. Trust that you are meant to move away from that deceptive, broken energy. A win-win outcome is forecast for you. You're very close to achieving your goal at this time, Aries. So a very solid energy, gaining momentum towards healing after being brave for a period of time. You're very close to achieving your goal. I'm actually going to clarify the tarot. Make sure that all fits. Perfect. Oh, and the King of Swords came out. 
So we have a true pair here of the divine masculine, divine feminine twin. Someone did not honor the connection. Someone was all in and someone was um, not basically with the queen of swords in the reverse and the king of swords in the upright. Right, So this King of Swords is cutting out this Queen of Swords because this Queen of Swords was not authentic. This Queen of Swords is incapable of being authentic. A queen is not only feminine, right? This could be a masculine as well. So I'm not limited to just male, female. But this person that you have cut out of your life was very mentally uh, manipulative and not authentic. This person was very phony. And this person has taken, yet to take any accountability for the, the way that they treated you within this connection. Releasing this person and moving away from this chaotic time is win-win for you, Libra energy. That is just King of Swords. Okay, so this is the past. I want to know what the future. Please show me the intentions of this person that's energetically connected to Aries for the future. Please show me the intentions of this person that's energetically connected to Aries. What does Aries need to know about this person's future intentions? What does Aries need to know for this person's future intentions towards them? Nine of Swords. They're still stuck. They're stuck in a mental prison in their own mind because they're constantly revisiting the fact that they were deceptive and you didn't deserve that. They are being bombarded. I feel their spirit guide. I feel your spirit guides are definitely hitting this person with some karma, right? This, per this person's very trapped in their head mentally for their player like ways. They're being tormented. Their spirit guides and angels are not protecting them at this time because the universe sees that they were they were unfair in this connection with you. This person is having a lot of um, regret for the way that they treated you in this connection. Nine of Swords energy, that's Gemini energy. Then we've got the Knight, which is Aquarius energy again. We've That's twice we've had Aquarius. And then we've got the Chariot, which is Cancer energy, indicating that you are being divinely guided away from this person, this player. But also just know that this person is receiving their karma. This person's stuck in a mental prison because they realized that they gambled a connection that was valuable just because for, for a um, immediate gratification, they recognized that they lost, they gambled and they lost. And this person is struggling with letting you go and releasing you. This person is still very energetically connecting to you, Aries, at this time. Anchor. Holding it together, getting a grip, heaviness, chained up. Yeah, this person recognizes that they were the loser in this disconnection. They thought they were moving on to greener, greener waters, but now they recognize that you were the one true thing that was in their life. They've released that. And then fired up, fuming with rage, overwhelming explosion of emotions, very angry. I feel you're healing. I feel that you are no longer even concerned with this person. However, this person is feeling the weight of their their decisions, the weight of their consequences. They're, they're starting to recognize now that their rage has passed, that they actually gambled something that was very valuable. There's a lot of regret here, Aries. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides... Has this, what is, will this person make any attempt to connect with Aries? Will this person attempt to connect with Aries? Will this person attempt to connect with Aries spirit? Seven of Pentacles. They would like to. They're making plans to reconnect. They would like to reestablish some type of a uh, new direction with you at this time with the Seven of Pentacles. Or they're very focused on, yeah, they're very focused on their money at this time. Seven to the eight. I feel they are really trying to build up the courage to connect. They're hoping that in reconnecting with you and, and giving you some type of an apology will make up for what they've done. But they are definitely in karma right now with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Tower in the reverse, the Knight of Swords to the wheel. This person avoided um, avoided their responsibility in, in the way that they treated a family, the way that they um, 
destroyed an investment an investment in in family an investment in something where there was a lot of potential and stability right so they are facing things are made, being made right i do feel aries that your luck is changing so i feel that the person that disconnected and dishonored the connection is now experiencing a lot of karma and a lot of of uh, regret whereas i feel that you are moving away from this energy towards something new to towards something that's going to bring a lot of positivity into your life with the wheel of fortune spirit please clarify the wheel for aries why is the wheel of fortune here for aries spirit two of pentacles balance yeah you're gonna have you're going to have uh, new options available that are going to be good investments. You're going to have balance in your life, Aries. Your luck is changing. It's beautiful energy. Please close out this message with a final for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Close out this message with one more oracle here. Birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibilities. You are being divinely guided to in, towards new beginnings. Lots of opportunities await for you. Aries, very happy for you guys. Take care.